We are on. This is being on. This is the powerful she. I mean, you have been so graciously waiting and waiting and smiling the entire time. And welcome to Real Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. This is Barbara. Barbara, welcome and thank you for being a part of this movement of the powerful female immigrants, the powerful she. So, Barbara, from Germany. Yes, from yes. Germany. See, Barbara I knew who I'm talking to. Yes. I read about you as well. Yeah, but we continue in English, I assume, Of course, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, uh, so tell us a little bit about who you are and why a part of this book as an author, as a speaker, and would love to get to know you. Yeah, I'm excited to share and thank you for having me on of your course. show. Really appreciate thank it. You. It has been, um, I was raised from a family where we were following orders and, ah. um, you know, coming from Germany, um, family came out of the war, uh, all of the men died, so mom um, and her mom and, you know, they are closer circle, they are survived and I was raised on, uh, on, on order, uh, to follow rules, um, to be a good child and, uh, and I did. However, there has been an element in me, uh, also down looking back at my career and what I accomplished overall, that I was complying, complying mm. to all of what, is, what was expected Rules and regulations. to me. So I, I made it far, I made a good career, I, I climbed the corporate ladder, which actually is what brought me here into the US. And where, where were you working? I was working for IBM. IBM. Uh, prior to that, Dell Computer actually okay. met Michael Dell, so that was okay. an exciting, uh, an, an exciting wow. part. I also, back in Germany, modeled. I uh, was in a model agency, actually in the operational part, and I was working for the number one. Um, the big selling. computers and yes. everything. Yes. Oh, all of God, that. All you of got that. a real <laughs> woman in here from the ancient times. I'm kidding. Yes, no, absolutely. <laughs> However, I was always in areas where they were building something up or creating right. something new. And uh, later on, when I met finally my Mr. Wright, uh, that is my second try in the marriage department, I, um, you know, I said, okay, I have to take a break, took that from my son, and going back, I was offered this really more corporate position, and it was not really down my alley. Okay. So soul searching again to a certain extent, so I started to flip and buy houses. That pretty much happened. Out of that, my company, Design to Sell, was born. So I'm a uh, I developed this company and started it 15 years ago and uh, grew it you know, to a, um, a six-figure business, seven-figure business actually, and, oh. and so that was pretty exciting. However, um, after seven years, there was an itch to also come up with something new. So mm. I feel I have been on this holding pattern for quite a while to figure out what's the next and what is coming. So coming back to that rule breaker every year, I am starting my year with a goal. Okay. And the word for the year for me was a rule breaker. Rule breaker, just like what I am doing with the powerful she. Courage, bravery, empowerment. And I love that. Breaking so, through all yeah. that, barriers and limitations and regulations and mm -hmm. rules of what we're supposed to be. Exactly, exactly. And that's what I love. So being inspired, so this year, the word of the year is, is lion-hearted. Ah. Uh, it came from that element, fearless, I was playing around, but lion-hearted was that part. So rule breaker, lion-hearted. So I am the dream builder, and that is like a lion-hearted, uh, fearless woman and trying to really drive changes in this world. Okay, so the rule breaker that creates, mm -hmm. <laughs> the rule breaker that creates, that means anything in our life, we have to disassemble, mm -hmm. disassemble yeah. in order to recreate and you're recreating it your way. Yes. Beautiful. So I, I, I love metaphors. Yeah. I create everything into a metaphor. Mm -hmm. When you talk about the lion hearted, I see this lion that roars, mm -hmm. but it's like a softy. Mm -hmm. 
and that's what who, who you are. No, I am, and uh, I, I feel strongly uh, the encouragement. My brain works very quick. Mm. So like a computer. Oh yeah, it's like you know, <laughs> things are happening, and often my calmness is uh, is mistaken for maybe not being as engaged. Oh. But I am more the observant personality, and I like it uh, to let things happening and come Simmer. towards me. Uh, where's so me going after, which is also an element I'm working on. So coming back to the book it was healing. It was a lot to of write. tear shed, tear shedding during that process, but very healing because I also could let go of that feeling that I always have to be strong because strong doesn't mean uh, that I am always having to show up and there's nothing worse happening. There's right. bad things happening in life. It's okay to shed tear. I say that now to some of our, my employees. Say, we can sit down and I tell you we are not the fit. And I might have to fire you. And I have tears in my eyes because emotionally and as a person, I feel sad about that, that separation. It is a hard part. It's not personal, it's, it's professional. It's not personal. But on the professional part, I wouldn't do anybody a favor if we continue that path because it is not helping our okay. team. Okay, you just brought something up. I'm sorry. Just, I'm so comfortable with her. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what you just brought up is like men in the world, they have no problem sitting down with someone and saying, you're fired. But as women, it takes like churning and everything that we think, oh, I can't do this because I may emotionally, mm -hmm. they, it, so how do you separate being the head of a company and yet um, being the boss and a woman in a, in, in, in a multi seven mm -hmm. figure, eight figure world of IT? That is, uh, I could not embrace that and embed it during that time of my corporate life. And the corporate, I was still running under that, you know, structure. structure. Yeah, but going into the entrepreneurship, that is when I learned it. And it was not from the beginning. That really happened uh, over time. It's a learning so it's process. A, it's a learning, it's evolving. evolving process. We're not yeah. born this yeah. way. But I think this is one of the messages I want to give out to women. It is okay to cry. It is okay yes. to be you and have your emotions even during these times of decisions. Doesn't mean I cannot cry if I have to fire somebody. Okay. If so one last sense. question I have for you. Those who don't believe they can be in the seven figures and yet they have the passion, they have the dream. What would you say to them? It is believe in yourself. You are the master and the, of your own story. You are the writer of your own book. And uh, it comes down to mindset and changing with whom you are surrounding yourself. So oh. one of the biggest elements for me, and that is actually thanks to Grant Cardone and some of the seminars and events I attended, you are you have to step out of your comfort zone. That's mm. where the biggest growth will happen. And you have to surround yourself with people who are who are bigger and greater than you and or thinking bigger and greater than you. And that's I like to time. say surround yourself with people that you inspire that you aspire and they inspire you and surround yourself that make an impact instead of influence you. Yes. And I love that, what you said, impact is a key, <laughs> impact is a key part. Impact versus influence, because yes. influence is about them, impact is helping you get where you want yeah. to be. So I want to say thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for being a part of Lisa TV. Bye-bye. Thank you.